Ghent, in the Flanders region of Belgium, is a fascinating mix of medieval grandeur, beautiful waterways, and lively modern life. Once a medieval powerhouse, its old parts tell stories of the past, while its newer parts are full of creativity and new ideas. From its meandering canals to its architectural marvels, Ghent captivates with its perfect synthesis of the ancient and the avant-garde. It is impossible to deny that St. Bobo's Cathedral is a very grand building. Once you're inside, the atmosphere changes from overwhelming to cozy. The famous adoration of the mystic lamb isn't just a piece of art. It's also a spiritual journey that the Van Eyck brothers showed in a beautiful way. As you walk through the cathedral, it's not just the art or the religious significance that catches your eye. It's the fact that you're standing in a place where people have prayed, hoped, and dreamed for hundreds of years. The Belfry is the tallest building in Ghent, and it stands as a silent guardian of the city's history and hopes. It is not only a great piece of architecture, but also a sign of the city's never-ending spirit. When you get to the top, you can see all of Ghent, but the real journey is looking inside yourself and learning about history. Each step tells a story about how the city tried to be independent, how it dealt with problems, and how it never gave up. The bell's melodies are not just sounds, they are echoes of times gone by that call out to every traveler. The St. Nicholas Church stands out among the other amazing buildings in Ghent. The church is more than just a beautiful piece of shelled Gothic architecture, it is also a place where history and culture are kept. As you walk through its aisles, you feel a strong sense of peace mixed with admiration. The church, with its strong towers and airy rooms, is a reminder of a time when architecture wasn't just about grandeur, but also about combining strength and elegance in a way that worked well together. Korenmarkt is the heart of urban life in Ghent. This square is full of life and on any given day, you can hear people talking in many different languages, children laughing, and street music in the distance. Locals and visitors alike flock to sidewalk cafes to take in the atmosphere. As night falls, the square changes. Lights give the cobblestone paths an ethereal glow. Here, Ghent's past, present, and future all come together to show what the city is all about. Grassley captures the spirit of Ghent's famous mercantile age with its historic buildings lined up along the water and their facades reflecting perfectly in the calm river below. Every brick, window, and gable tell a story from when the city was at its best. As boats go by, it seems like they are not only traveling down the river, but also through hundreds of years of history. Sitting on the quay and watching the world go by fills you with a sense of longing for a time you never lived in but feel like you know very well. On the other side of the river, Coronley looks like a peaceful copy of Grassley. Even though it has a lot of history like other places, Coronley has its own stories to tell. Its buildings, each with its own style, stand next to each other like chapters in a book with lots of pictures. The ripples of the river play with their own reflections, making patterns that are absorbing to look at. When you stand in the middle of St. Michael's Bridge, you get a unique view that looks like it came straight out of a Renaissance painting. The spires of churches, the calm canals that show off the beauty of the city, and the faraway hum of the streets all come together to make a beautiful symphony. Still, the bridge is important not just for the views, but also for the sense of continuity it gives to the city and its inhabitants. Every stone and piece of stained glass of St. Michael's Church seems to represent centuries of hard work and skill. Inside its walls, there is a sense of respect and reverence. Light coming in through the windows makes patterns on the floor that look like a kaleidoscope of colors and stories. The echoes of people's footsteps, the soft murmur of prayers, and the general quiet make the church a safe place for every visitor. Ghent's lifeblood flows through its canals, which are like veins. They go through neighborhoods and make a watery tapestry that gives the area a special charm. Along their banks, you can see a little bit of everything that goes on in Ghent. Kids feeding ducks, couples walking hand in hand, artists capturing the play of light and shadow, and boats carrying tourists who want to see the city from a different angle. With their always changing reflections, the canals show how Ghent's spirit is always changing, but still rooted in tradition.
Gravenstein is a true fortress and stands as a strong reminder of Ghent's medieval past. The castle with its stone walls and turrets is a link to a time when there were knights, dukes, and stories of bravery. As you walk through its chambers and ramparts, history comes to life not just because of the displays, but because of the atmosphere, the sound of footsteps, the cool touch of stone, and the wide views of a city that has grown up around this old watchtower. Stam is a collection of Ghent's history, as it tells the whole story of how the city has changed over time, from its earliest days to the present day. Interactive displays, well-preserved artifacts, and interesting stories make history interesting and accessible to everyone, from curious kids to seasoned historians. Outside the museum's walls, the gardens invite people to reflect, so they can take in all the information while enjoying the piece. The Museum of Fine Art in Ghent is a haven for people who love art and want to learn more about it. It is a feast for the eyes because it has a lot of things from the Middle Ages to the middle of the 20th century. Each room's carefully chosen exhibits tell a different story about different times and art movements. The museum encourages people to dive into the world of colors, shapes, and feelings. Stad Huys, an architectural chameleon, combines various styles to reflect the epochs it has witnessed. Its facades and interiors depict the evolution of design from Gothic to Renaissance. Aside from its aesthetics, the town hall represents Ghent's administrative legacy, having witnessed numerous decisions and debates that have shaped the city's trajectory. Graffiti Street stands out as a canvas of contemporary expression in a city steeped in history. It captures the pulse of modern Ghent with a riot of colors and forms. Each spray, stroke, and scribble is a voice, a statement, and a reflection of the city's vibrant youth and their perspectives. This ever-changing mural, set among ancient stones, provides a fresh, unfiltered view of Ghent's urban culture. Known as Mad Meg, in Ghent folklore, Dolg Riot is a massive medieval cannon. The stories surrounding it are more intriguing than its size. It reminds us of Ghent's past defenses and how far it went to preserve its legacy. Rongton Market is Ghent's lifeblood, as trade and taste meet here, filling the air with aromas, colors, and chatter. Each stall tells a story as vendors display their fresh produce and artisans sell their crafts. The culinary reputation of Belgium is unique, and Ghent provides a sumptuous slice of it. The flavors are rich and varied, ranging from velvety chocolates to robust beers. Traditional restaurants serve regional specialties such as water suey, while modern cafes serve artisanal coffees. Then there are the waffles, which are crispy on the outside but soft on the inside and are frequently topped with fruits or chocolate. You will realize that Ghent is not just another city after exploring deeper into its rich display of history, culture, and culinary traditions. Your experiences in Ghent will stay with you long after the journey is over thanks to the city's medieval allure, artistic treasures, and contemporary vitality. The historic buildings, the peaceful canals, and the cobblestone streets are more than just sites, they are opportunities to create new and extraordinary memories. Ghent is a city with a history that dates back centuries and with a character that is arguably unmatched by any other city in Europe.